Hello, Quaker Valley Middle School families. We hope everyone has been enjoying a safe and relaxing summer as we plan for a very different school opening than most of us are accustomed to. This presentation will provide you with the information and clarity around our instructional options for the school year and help you make an informed choice. My name is Dr. Anthony Mooney and I'm the principal of Quaker Valley Middle School. Today I'm joined by Dr. Lauren McGurk, assistant principal of Quaker Valley Middle School. The purpose of this presentation is to provide explanations of the instructional models that are available to students in grades 6 through 8 at Quaker Valley Middle School. This information will help our families to make informed decisions. Before we explain the instructional options, it is important to define a few key terms. Synchronous learning refers to live instruction that happens in real time with groups of learners. Students will follow their regular school schedule and will participate in classes via Zoom with their teachers and classmates, just as they would if they were in school. A live QV teacher facilitates instruction. Teachers and students interact during the lesson, allowing for questions and feedback. Students will participate in a variety of activities during the session that that may include direct instruction by the teacher, group activities conducted in breakout rooms, independent practice monitored by the teacher, and various application and assessment activities. The goal is to simulate in-class instruction and learning to the very best of our ability. Asynchronous learning refers to the learning that occurs online without real-time live instruction. Students participate in the lessons at their own pace at home. The teacher facilitates instruction through written documents or recorded videos or screencasts. The teacher addresses questions and feedback after the lesson through email, discussion boards, office hours, or face-to-face -face sessions that occur in a hybrid model. Students will participate in a variety of activities during the session that may include direct instruction presented in written documents, direct instruction presented in videos or screencasts, group activities completed using a discussion board or other online tools, independent practice submitted to the teacher after completion, or a various application and assessment activities completed independently and submitted via Schoology. There are three instructional options at Quaker Valley Middle School from which families can choose. These options include an on-campus hybrid learning option, an online learning option, and a Quaker Valley Online Academy option. In the following slides, we will provide details related to each option. The district selected this model based on the greatest amount of live interaction between our teachers and students while providing an environment that adheres to the district's health and safety plan. Survey data from families indicated that live interaction between teachers and students was very important to offer and maintain. Unlike the elementary students who can be placed in cohorts where teachers come to them, at the secondary level, students change classes and are with a different group of students for each class. Some districts have selected a hybrid model that divides the school in half and brings two small groups of students into the building two times per week per group. Although those students are in school for an additional day, they are only getting live access to the teacher two times per week. Students are only in school for one day per week with our hybrid plan. They will have four days of face-to-face -face instruction and learning with the QV teachers either virtually or on campus. We feel the increased amount of face-to-face -face time with the teachers will greatly benefit our students. As you may recall, when Quaker Valley moved to remote learning in the spring of 2020, our typical instructional and assessment practices were modified. A question that families may have about the fall of 2020 is whether learning will look the same as it did in the spring. We learned a great deal about remote instruction over the past few months. And to be clear, adjustments will be made to the plans and expectations that were in place in spring of 2020. Grading and assessment practices will be similar to our typical pre-COVID practices. Schedules for students will follow a traditional school day. There will be an increased use of live synchronous instruction as well as increased rigor and expectations that align to our typical instructional and assessment practices. 
Lastly, the district is providing additional access to technology and online supplemental programs in order to best meet the needs of our students. The Quaker Valley Middle School on-campus hybrid learning model uses Quaker Valley teachers and curriculum and allows for four days of live instruction, including three days of synchronous instruction via Zoom and one day of on-campus instruction in a smaller group setting. Students will be split into two groups for on-campus instruction in order to adhere to the district's health and safety plan. The groups will be organized alphabetically, but the specific alphabetical assignments for Group 1 and Group 2 have not yet been determined. It's important to note that the alphabetical split will be consistent between Quaker Valley Middle School and Quaker Valley High School so that families with students in both buildings will follow the same schedules. In the hybrid model, students will only have one day of independent asynchronous learning. This slide displays student schedules for groups 1 and 2. As shown in the table, days 4 and 5 are slightly different depending on the student's assigned group. This slide details a typical weekly schedule for students who select the hybrid option. Students will complete a total of five instructional lessons that include synchronous, asynchronous, and on-campus instruction. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays will include live synchronous instruction. Students will follow their typical school schedule and participate in flexible instruction provided by their Quaker Valley teachers. It is important to note that students do not report to campus on these days and will join their teacher and classmates in live sessions via Zoom. As mentioned in the previous slide, students will be divided into two separate groups. On Thursdays, group number one will report to campus for in-person instruction and complete lesson number four. Group number two will participate in asynchronous independent learning at home and complete lesson five. On Fridays, group number two will report to campus for in-person instruction and complete lesson four. Group number one will participate in asynchronous independent learning at home and complete lesson five. After viewing the previous slides related to the on-campus hybrid learning model, you may have formulated some of the questions highlighted on this slide. Why does Lesson 4 occur on different days for Groups 1 and 2? This schedule allows us to place students into smaller in-person groups while allowing the teacher to provide the same instruction to each group while they are on campus. Does it matter that students in Group 2 receive Lesson 4 after they complete Lesson 5? This will not adversely impact students. Lesson 5 is designed to be a completely asynchronous lesson that provides students with opportunities to independently apply their learning. Last, what will performing arts classes look like? Performing arts schedules and expectations are forthcoming. Under normal circumstances, students in 6th and 7th grade participate in performing arts classes every other day. Performing arts are optional in 8th grade. QVMS administration and music teachers are working on a plan that allows students access to performing arts as often as possible. The middle school teachers go to great lengths to provide high quality instruction in the classroom setting. The same will be true for the live synchronous instruction that they provide via Zoom. This format will still allow teachers to break their lessons into instructional segments that engage students in meaningful and thoughtful learning. This slide is an example of what a 45-minute synchronous lesson might look like. The teacher may wish to start the lesson by welcoming the students to the class and then dive in with 15 minutes of direct instruction using a presentation tool such as PowerPoint or Nearpod to introduce new concepts, skills, or provide guided practice. During direct instruction, the teacher and students would be able to ask and answer questions, and students could take notes or complete graphic organizers using apps on their iPad. The teacher may then wish to use the next 15 minutes of class time to assign students to small groups so that students can apply the new concept or skill in a collaborative environment. Students might use this time to work on a project, create a presentation, complete an assignment, or even engage in a discussion while the teacher moves from small group to small group, facilitating and observing student learning. The final 15 minutes of the class period may be dedicated to independent assignments or practice. The teacher could use this time to conduct small groups to provide remediation or enrichment, assign practice problems, writing prompts, or task students with data analysis. Teachers could provide students with assignments on one of QV's various web applications, such as Mathia, No Red Ink, 
or other various websites and applications that are associated with specific content areas. Students may use this time to complete formative assessments of various forms, or the teacher may provide students with reading or writing assignments that are linked directly with the concepts, skills, and content from the day's lesson. The next three slides are sample schedules for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students. We included these sample schedules to illustrate the types of courses students take each period of the day at the middle school. The setup of the middle school schedule existed prior to COVID-19, and despite the impact that COVID-19 is having on schools, we are still able to offer all students a wide range of opportunities. Each grade level will receive more specific scheduling information closer to the start of the school year. The Quaker Valley Middle School online learning model allows students to remain at home full time while engaging in three days of live synchronous instruction via Zoom and two days of independent asynchronous instruction. Similar to the on-campus hybrid model, the online learning model utilizes Quaker Valley teachers and curriculum. However, it allows students to learn from the safety of their homes without being required to report to campus. This slide displays the typical daily schedule for students engaging in the full-time online model. On Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, online students will be joining and learning with their Group 1 peers who are enrolled in the hybrid model. Students will follow their regular course schedule on those days by logging into Zoom with their Quaker Valley teachers. On the days when the hybrid students are in school for the fourth day of instruction, online students will be learning asynchronously online and hybrid students will complete the same asynchronous lesson on day five. After viewing the previous slides related to the online learning model, you may have formulated some of the questions highlighted on this slide. It is important to note that students participating in the online learning model will not fall behind those participating in the on-campus hybrid model. Additionally, the district is requesting a 12-week commitment from families once they make their decision. The final option available to students is the pre-existing Quaker Valley Online Academy, or QVOA. This option is ideal for students who wish to have more flexibility by participating in a fully asynchronous learning environment, as students are not required to log in at specific times to meet with teachers. It's important to note that QVOA does not utilize Quaker Valley teachers and curriculum. Online course vendors and teachers are provided by Waterfront Learning at the Allegheny Intermediate Unit. The teachers and the QVOA coordinator monitor student progress and communicate regularly with students and parents. Requests for this option must be addressed individually with the QVOA coordinator and the school counselor. We know that this presentation includes a great deal of information, so we wanted to provide a quick recap of Quaker Valley Middle School's three instructional options for the 2020-2021 school year. First, there is the on-campus hybrid learning option that utilizes Quaker Valley teachers and curriculum. It allows for three days of live synchronous instruction via Zoom, one day of on-campus instruction with classroom teachers, and one day of independent asynchronous instruction. Students will be split into two groups for on-campus instruction to adhere to the district's health and safety plan. The alphabetical split will be consistent between Quaker Valley Middle School and Quaker Valley High School so that families with students in both buildings will follow the same schedule. Second, there is the online learning option that also utilizes Quaker Valley teachers and curriculum. It allows for three days of live synchronous instruction via Zoom and two days of independent asynchronous instruction. Lastly, there is the Quaker Valley Online Academy, which utilizes outside vendors and curriculum and is completely asynchronous five days a week. For parents of students with an individualized education plan or a 504 service agreement, all decisions related to students with an IEP or 504 service agreement will be made by the IEP 504 team in accordance with the IEP or 504 plans and goals. Please know that we will be working collaboratively with families to meet the needs of your child through the IEP or 504. Regardless of the instructional model that you select for your child, students may continue to participate in any available QVMS athletics and activities. 
students must adhere to all QVMS and PIAA policies and eligibility guidelines as applicable. Important dates that all families need to be aware of are as follows. Between August 4th and August 5th, families should review the three instructional options available for Quaker Valley students. On August 6th, families will receive a survey allowing them to choose which instructional options are most appropriate for their children. Families must complete and submit the survey to the district by August 9th. To each and every parent and guardian watching this presentation, please know that we understand the pressure that you may feel in making an instructional decision for your child. But please know that whatever choice you make for your child is the right choice. We look forward to working together with all of our families and supporting our students as we transition to the 2020-2021 school year. If you have any questions about the instructional options that were outlined in this presentation, please feel free to reach out to either middle school administrator at your earliest convenience. As always, we appreciate and value your time and support. Thank you for joining us for this presentation.